to work on passing the ball over a longer distance, okay? When we're passing short distance, we use our inside of the foot, typically not too hard, okay? But now when we're increasing the distance, we're gonna have to add a bit of power. Where we get power is the top of our foot, okay? Typically the laces or your big bone, okay? If you can find your big bone on your foot, that's usually a good place to aim for. Again, you don't need a wall, a partner's just as good, but if you don't have a partner, a wall is great too. All you're doing, shifting the ball out of your feet, and strike the ball. Take a touch, again, you've got three touches. Okay, so the further away you are, the more time you've got on the ball. If you want to go a bit closer, you're going to have to react a bit quicker. Again, just shift the ball out of your feet, and strike the ball. You have three touches. When you feel a bit more comfortable, you can go to two. That's not a very good one. If you make a mistake, just start again. When we're passing longer, okay, a lot of you have been asking how do you get the ball high? When we're striking the ball, you tend to want to hit it at the bottom. Just like you're playing golf, if you get underneath it, it's going to go up. What you need to do as well is lean back. Alright, so when we're striking the ball, again you want to be quite a distance away, aim for the bottom, using your big bone or the laces and lean back. You should get a natural flight. 